What is going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This dividend portfolio is getting stronger as well as uh, this channel. You guys have been phenomenal. All I ask you to do is smash that like button and hit that notification bell. Every video is free. I don't believe in charging. I don't have a Patreon account. I show you everything that I buy. I say what's on my mind on my Twitter account as well as my Instagram. Uh, so the links are in there in the um, description in my uh, profile. But I'm, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button because, you know, some people believe in charging people. And, you know, I don't. I really want to show you what I buy. I provide uh, my rationales. I give you an honest opinion. I'm not a financial advisor, but I just show you stock and dividend analysis, why I like this stock, why I'm not buying it. And I show you products they have. So I've really been deep into Pfizer and I provided a lot of videos on Pfizer as well as AT&T, why I'm buying it. And I will continue to provide my rationales to why Pfizer is a great stock um, for a dividend investor compared to, you know, somebody that's looking at, you know, increasing their net asset value or trying to do puts or calls. Basically, you know, I'm in this for the Benjamins. I want the money. Look at this. I earned $491.55 in dividends with this dividend portfolio, I'm up 110.38%. My gain is $4,550.01 investing in the stock market. And in my previous videos, I want you to watch Rich Uncles. I've lost a crap load of money. It was a huge risk. I'm glad I had all my eggs in one basket. And guess what? Right here, I pretty much gained it all back. So it's not really a big loss, but I really want you guys, actually I've changed it to Modif. That's what their new name is. And I lost a ton of money. Everything was looking good. And then it was just poof, pandemic hit and that rate was done. So kind of sucks because if it was around, net asset value of that would have went up. They would have bought more properties. And it would have been an amazing investment in the long run. So um, it is what it is, but you know what? I got Fundrise for that. So I also have videos on Fundrise and show you how I'm doing. So, you know, check out my channel, watch the videos. You know, if you're interested in real estate uh, crowdfunding or real estate, check out those videos as well. So let me just show you how things are looking with my portfolio. So one of my goals was once I got to about $12,000, I wanted to go into certain sectors. So I have certain stocks that will pave the way. My goal is to get about 100 shares in all of these, okay? Get about 100 shares. That way it'll start paving the way for these other stocks and I can start earning really crazy passive income and I can start buying more stocks like crazy, get to $100,000 and make a decision. Am I just gonna reinvest and let everything you know go from there or just keep on putting money in and just let this get bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger and then and or focus on my E-Trade dividend portfolio. So I have a lot of decisions to make, but first goal is to get to $100,000. So $16,000, okay, we're getting there. So some of the stocks that I bought, I added, I have a super REIT section, Office Properties Income Trucks, Brookfield Property Partners, Physicians Realty Trust, Healthcare Trust of America, and Plymouth Industrial Rate. So this one right is right around $16.81. Yields a very good dividend. I'm gonna probably do a stock and dividend analysis on some of these stocks that I bought. Healthcare Trust of America, very solid uh, rate. Brookfield uh, Property Partners, high yield dividend stock. It looks like a 9.25 dividend yield right now. Let's go back to Plymouth. 5.69 and it's $16.81. Healthcare Trust, Trust of America, 4.57. Office Property Trust Income Fund, 7.41%. So you're looking at some of these Physicians Realty Trust, 5.11%. So now you're seeing what my strategy is. Three to 5% dividend stocks, high yield dividend stocks, one to increase their dividends over time. So I made some changes. Lumen Technologies and QYLD, I focused QYLD at 2%, Lumen Technologies at 1%. Reason I did that is QYLD's dividend is uh, so far better than Lumen Technologies. 
Lumen will probably be back up there, but QYLD is paving the way for a monthly dividend stock. So I wanna have my monthly dividends. Again, I have a strategy and long-term goals to make $1,000 to $3,000 a month of my monthly dividends and $2,000 to $4,000 a month of my quarterly dividends. So Unilever is one of my favorite uh, dividend stocks as well. I only have, I don't have that many shares, but I need to really start getting you know higher with a lot of these stocks. And again, once I get to 100, that's when I'm gonna start doing some damage. So really, I wanna start leaving some of these alone and give them a share of their pie because they deserve you know, some recognition because there's a reason why I invested in these stocks. You know, BTI, seven, you know, this one's a 7.20 dividend yield. So a lot of these you know, stocks, okay, I would consider that a sin stock because you know, it's basically, you know, smoking's not good, but people are still gonna do it. It doesn't matter, people vape, they don't care. Unfortunately, you know, the future is bright in healthcare. I'm a registered nurse and I'm right now in graduate school. But I mean, all we do is the biggest thing with education, tell people to stop smoking and they're not going to do it. So it's always gonna be a strong stock. So another one, Universal Corp, you know, this is another one. It's like people don't care. You know, they're just going to do it anyways. So you know, these are stocks that aren't going to jump up too fast and they're pretty stagnant. Altria is the same way. I mean, a 6.90 dividend yield, high yield dividend stock. Seagate, 3.33% dividend yield. Still a very good stock that I like that has increased its dividend over time. It doesn't jump up too crazy. AT&T is another high yield dividend stock. They're right at 6.86. They're paying off debt. They're focusing on that. Good for them. Pfizer about a 4.34% dividend yield. Real estate sector, here's my other section, Iron Mountain, 6.48% dividend yield. It's not gonna jump up too fast or too um, too low. And here's uh, LTC properties. I have a total of 47 shares. Honestly, what I could have done is put it on my E-Trade dividend portfolio and reinvested that but I decided not to. So I'm going to focus on really the bigger picture, the dividends and the strategy. So let me just show you my activity recently. So I got $9.80 from ExxonMobil. I got $8.81 from Pfizer. Fastenal hooked me up, I sold them. Decided to get uh, another stock in UBV. First Energy gave me $7.53. Enbridge gave me $10.08 minus $151. Affleck got me $3.80. LTC got me $8.97. Um, I'm it's not a bad idea to just have it in my E-Trade dividend portfolio, but I'm just doing so well with it right now. I'm just gonna leave it go and just keep on reinvesting and buying more shares. So what I'm going to do is put the brakes again. I want to get maybe to 26,000 and then stop buying stocks. So I'm going to mess around with these for a little bit. I would at least want to get $10,000 uh, rolling. I want to get this one rolling. I'm probably not going to add any for a, a while. I think what I'll do is maybe 30,000 and then start going after another sector because I really like the way I'm kind of balanced right now. I have certain stocks that I want and I like, but you know, eventually these will start changing and going down to probably 1% and they'll start getting into the bigger uh, sections and companies. That way I can attack them monthly because there's really good stocks. I mean, Chevron's one, um, IBM, I mean, 3M, there, there's some really big stocks that I want and then once I start getting more money from these dividends and these dividend stocks, that's when it's like, all right, I'm gonna be buying these bad boys like crazy and things are gonna start rolling. So now you kind of see what my strategy is. You know, these stocks distribute dividends at a certain time, but again, I need to make sure I have a decent amount. 13 is not a lot for Coca-Cola. So again, you know, let me get more money into these other stocks and then watch the magic start kicking in of compound interest. So that's kind of what my strategy is right now. 
really like the way things are rolling. Uh, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of these stocks. Again, here's my total holdings. I have uh, 60 of Iron Mountain, 47 of LTC, 11 of Seagate, 28 of AT&T, 23 of Pfizer, 20 of Omega Health Investors, 15 of Altria, 11 of Exxon, 19 of First Energy, 13 of Coca-Cola, 15 of Spirit Realty Capital, 12 of Westrock, 11 of Aflac, 15 of Enbridge, 10 of Brookfield Infrastructure Partners, 16 of PBA Monthly Dividend Stock, 11 of British American Tobacco, 7 of Unilever, 21 of Lumen Technologies, 15 of Universal Corp, 5 of QYLD, 7 of Plymouth Industrial Rate, four of Healthcare Trust of America, seven of DOC uh, Physicians Realty Trust, seven of BPY Brookfield Par Property Partners, and three of Office Properties Income. So that's my strategy right now. Again, I've made so far $491.55. Eventually, I will get to uh, 1,000, and that's gonna be really exciting because, again, my strategy, 2,000 to $4,000 a month doing with my quarterly dividends, that's possible. So, you know, it's it's rational and it's possible. You know, I don't wanna, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna retire on dividends, but I wanna at least make maybe 15, 20,000 on dividends. And I can treat that as a retirement pension It's just gonna keep on going up. So with these stocks that I have, and the stock and dividend analysis videos that I provide, I feel pretty strong with this. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, uh, but you know this is why I have this channel. I show you what I'm doing. Uh, could give you ideas. Could give you you know ideas not you know what not to do. But let me know what you think of this video. If you are new to this uh, dividend investing channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't know miss future videos. Smash that like button for me and get active on this channel. If you are a subscriber, I'd love for you to get active. Uh, let me know what stocks you love what stocks you're buying, what stocks are in your mind, you know, get active. That's all I can ask you for. I mean, that's, that's what I keep on posting videos. That's what I love about this channel. So thank you again. Have a great Friday and be safe.